China's homegrown large twin-engine unmanned transport aircraft completed its maiden flight test on Sunday in Zigong, southwest China's Sichuan province. This milestone came amid China's ambitious strides in advancing its low-altitude economy. Reflecting progress in the rapidly expanding sector, which analysts said is driven by strong policy support and growing technological innovation. This unmanned aerial vehicle features a wingspan of 16.1 meters and a height of 4.6 meters. With a payload capability of up to 2 tons, making it the largest fully domestically produced unmanned transport aircraft in China. The 20-minute flight test at Zigong Fengming Airport demonstrated that the aircraft systems operated as expected. The UAV is designed with features such as convenient loading and unloading, high-level safety and intelligence, and it's expected to expand new application scenarios for cargo transport and facilitate intelligent low-altitude advancement. China is rapidly advancing its low-altitude sector, identified as a key future-oriented industry and a new growth engine in the 2024 government work report. Recent central government reforms to the integrated transportation system also emphasize efforts to further develop this sector. Observers said that this new development signified China's aerospace technological leap and emphasis on high-quality growth via intelligent logistics and low-altitude operations. In 2023, China's low-altitude economy grew by 33.8% to 505.95 billion yuan $70.59 billion. In the first half of this year, nearly 608,000 new drones were registered, and more than 14,000 drone operators held valid civil aviation certificates. The scale of China's low-altitude economy is expected to exceed 1 trillion yuan by 2026. The high-wing drone reportedly has a wingspan of almost 53 feet 16.1 meters and is just over 15 feet 4.6 meters high from the ground to the tip of its single vertical tail. It is also said to have almost 424 cubic feet 12 cubic meters of internal payload space. The uncrewed cargo aircraft has tricycle landing gear and is designed to take off and land from traditional runaways. Large cargo drones like the new Tengden design could help China keep its remote outposts supplied, especially during a conflict. The aircraft features a large white antenna dome on top of the forward end of the fuselage that would be used for satellite communications. Giving it beyond line of sight direct connectivity to controllers, even for relaying basic information. A cargo carrying uncrewed aircraft would at least need to be able to navigate from point A to point B, which could be done autonomously or semi-autonomously using a pre-programmed route. More advanced autonomous flight systems would be required to enable the drone to take off and land and or make dynamic route changes without human assistance. A launch and recovery element at its departure and landing locales could also be used to control the drone's terminal operations. But that would greatly limit where it could be sent at any given time. The new design from Tengen has emerged roughly two months after the state-run Aviation Industry Corporation of China AVIC unveiled its HH-100 cargo drone. With a stated payload capacity of some 1,540 pounds 700 kilograms. Aviv has said its uncrewed cargo carrying aircraft is expected to be able to cruise at a speed of 186 miles per hour 300 kilometers per hour. Get up to an altitude of 16,400 feet 5,000 meters and be able to fly 323 miles 520 kilometers with a full load. Tengden itself flew another cargo drone the TB-001D Scorpion D. For the first time back in 2022, the four-engine Scorpion D has a greater wingspan than the new design, but is smaller overall and its stated payload capacity is around 3,000 pounds. Tengden has proposed an even bigger jet-powered twin fuselage cargo drone design in the past. Other Chinese firms have been working on larger cargo carrying drone designs. Tengden has already established itself as a manufacturer of medium-altitude long-endurance military drones capable of conducting intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions and kinetic strikes using small precision munitions. Several of Tengden's medium-altitude long-endurance drone types are in active PLA service and have been conducting long-range missions around Taiwan and parts of Japan. As already noted, Tengden as a company has a close relation with the PLA. China does have a growing number of traditional cargo aircraft, including the increasingly capable Y-20 family. 
At the same time, China's military already has established bases in a variety of remote and austere locations. Often with limited runway capacity, such as its highly strategic island outposts across the South China Sea. Uncrewed platforms, which would also be cheaper to fly, could be very useful for routine resupply operations in locales where other crewed cargo planes might not be optimal or even capable of operating at all. Remote facilities on land in western China might benefit from increased uncrewed aerial logistics capabilities. However, many of those locations can present altitude challenges for smaller aircraft, crewed or uncrewed. In addition, the PLA has a clear interest in being able to expand its capacity to conduct expeditionary operations further and further from the Chinese mainland. Cargo drones could be part of a mix of capabilities that it could use to support those missions in the future. In an active conflict or other high-risk scenario, drones would present additional value as options for resupplying forces without putting a cargo aircraft's crew at risk. Elements of the US military, in particular the US Marine Corps, are also looking to field multiple tiers of cargo carrying uncrewed aerial systems to help support future expeditionary and distributed operations. However, Tengen's new design points to a capability tier, particularly in terms of range, beyond what American forces are currently looking at. Though there is growing interest in the sector, there has not been the same kind of burst in the development of larger, longer-ranged cargo drone designs within the US aviation industry, either. A drone with 424 cubic feet of internal space has definite potential to be adapted to other roles beyond cargo carrying, as well. Tengden has demonstrated experience integrating various sensor systems and weapons onto its existing medium-altitude long-endurance product line. The company's new design could potentially be configured as a launch platform for other payloads beyond munitions, including swarms of smaller drones. Still, Tengen's new addition to the growing number of ever larger cargo drones being offered by Chinese companies underscores. The clear interest in that country and elsewhere around the globe in uncrewed aerial logistics capabilities. For the PLA, uncrewed cargo carrying aircraft could be especially valuable for resupplying its forces in far-flung locales.